as one might expect, uh, Channel 4, uh, ITV is lawyering up. And uh, Carolyn McCall has confirmed uh, that, she's, um, that she's called in a barrister. Uh, she sent a letter to the Culture Secretary, Lucy Fraser, uh, the DCMS Committee, uh, Caroline Drinage, and Ofcom Chief Dame Melanie Dawes. She's protecting herself, of course, because I suspect she knows far too much. She says, as you would expect, we take the matter extremely seriously and have reviewed our own records over the weekend. These show that when rumours of a relationship between Philip Schofield and an employee of ITV first began to circulate in late 2019, early 2020, ITV investigated. Tosh. Both parties were questioned then. One denies it. And both categorically and repeatedly denied the rumours, as did Philip's then-agency, YMU. In addition, ITV spoke to a number of people who worked on the This Morning wider daytime team and, and uh, were not provided with and did not find any evidence of a relationship between beyond hearsay and rumour. Given the ongoing rumours, we continue to ask questions of both parties, who both continue to deny the rumours, uh, including as recently as this month. There has been a lot of inaccuracy in the reporting, so I thought it would be useful to set some uh, facts. The ITV employee was aged 19 when he first did work experience at this morning in 2015 and 20 years old when he applied and succeeded in securing a job as a runner on the show. He subsequently applied for and was successful in securing a promotion to Loose Women in 2019. He left ITV in 2021. As you would imagine, given uh, the social media and security and scrutiny of him, we've offered him our support throughout this period and indeed are still doing so. The employee has made it clear that he does not wish to be named or identified in connection with this matter. We would be grateful if you would be mindful of this. The relationships we have with those we work with are based on trust. Philip made assurances to us and his agency, which he now acknowledges were untrue and we feel badly let down. We consider our approach was reasonable and proportionate at the time and in the circumstances. We believe that we did not have any grounds to mount any other sort of investigation. Interesting. But of course, the whole problem is so much of that is already denied. I'd be very interested to know how this progresses. And the point is, this has gone well beyond tittle-tattle and showbiz gossip. This is about whether or not ITV can be trusted, it's whether or not a production company can be trusted. The problem is ITV has already got form. It's ITV which did Love Island, it's ITV which did Jeremy Kyle, and it's the DCMS which truncated that investigation into the Jeremy Kyle Love Island debacle. So now, the DCMS, the Digital Culture, Media and Sport Committee, and its um, it, its minister, Lucy Fraser, have all got a lot of catching up to do and a lot of um, uh, a, a, lo a lot of face saving to do because that committee wasn't reconvened to finish its job looking into reality TV and the conduct of ITV. Because now that conduct looks very shady indeed. And if you look at the dates, it was 2019. 2019 is one of the dates quoted here by uh, this lady. I think ITV heads will have to roll. And I also think there may be serious questions about the future of the digital culture, uh, media and sport minister. Because she's kept very quiet, hasn't she? Not that she's ever said very much. She's one, of the, she's one of a long run of digital culture, media and sport ministers who don't really do their job as far as I can see.